The Youngstown Bills of Rights expects to have two measures on the ballot in November. That's right, two issues. But a new state law could block one or both from getting the voters. The anti-fracking proposal has failed six times in Youngstown, but last month the petitions were presented again. One asked for prohibiting fracking in city limits, plus water funds to be used for water quality and infrastructure and not downtown development. The second measure is for free and fair elections in the city, taking out corporate money. Ohio has had the right of citizen initiative since 1912. So chartered municipalities can, citizens can do petitions when they feel that the government is not protecting them. The state Supreme Court ruled unanimously that citizens initiative must be put on the ballot. That was right after a community bill of rights measure was kept off the ballot two years ago. Now a new Ohio law gives boards of elections a chance to invalidate local proposals if they don't follow state law. We believe this is an unjust law, but until you, ch you can challenge a law, um, you can't just say, you know, this is a bad law, get rid of it. Susie anticipates that its measures could be kept off the ballot, which would start another legal challenge. I talked to a member of the Mahoning County Board of Elections who told me the board is obligated to investigate if a petition falls within the scope of authority. I say to do the right thing in the interest of democracy and in the interests of citizens' voices that it should be put on the ballot. And the Board of Elections is making no decision now. It's not even seen the petition yet. Youngstown has to certify the signatures first. The Board of Elections anticipates talking about, it, about this issue during its regular meeting in September.